Well, uh, so we just did the pitfalls lesson a minute ago, which actually comes after the one we're going to do now in the text tutorial. So now we're going to go back and do this other lesson. All right, nice. Sounds fun, right? Okay. And <clears throat> the thing that you're learning about this is that here you are, this, this person who's cured so many things, such as, I mean, you've cured incurable diseases. You've cured um, the Epstein-Barr virus. You got a negative medical test on that. Mm -hmm. you, you got a negative medical test on herpes, which you tested positive for, and you tested positive for Epstein-Barr when you were a teenager, you, you know, which is for life. You always have it until, until you don't. And, uh, but you, you know, you, you've managed to, uh, you know, cure so many things and yet there is more to be done. Yes? Yeah, chronic depression. Yeah, I think I <laughs> <laughs> Chronic depression. One thing you have not been medical, that, now Barb, no, no hypochondria. That is one thing you have not been medically diagnosed with. My own chemistry is true. Is uh, chronic depression or any other kind of clinical? See, that's the thing is we we deal with clinical problems here, not imaginary no, ones. But it's a little scary. It, like most people who don't have insurance or don't uh, who don't want to do what I do, don't go to the doctor. In fact, I like I was telling my alternative doctor that I would love it would be fun to have all these machines and test ourselves, and she said it's actually they prevent. People, unless you're a Western medical doctor, from even buying those machines. Like, you, you can't do an x ray, for example. Right. You can't have one of those in the example or even sonogram, probably. It'd be so interesting to have one of those at home. Well, I'm sure you could dredge up a medical doctor friend who would be happy to do, give you yeah, a yeah, yeah. negative yeah. medical test on clinical depression. <laughs> I'll, I'll fudge my answer. <laughs> Test this question. Uh, put your put your hand up. Um, am I happy? I must admit, I guess I'm happy. Okay. Am I making the right choices? In this moment, I am. Yes. Um, now the lesson we're going to do now is it's called "Welcome to the Calm Clear Place," and I'm going to put this on the screen. So you just did some testing, and we always tend to go to the calm, clear place. This is in the uh, text tutorial that beginners do for free when they start the web college, if they want to. And <clears throat> the, it starts with a little um, quote. And the quote is, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, and that was by Rudyard Kipling. So when you're in the calm, the point is that when you're in the calm, clear place, you are the person in the room who keeps your head when all about you are losing theirs. That's. The I, I have to tell you something really funny, which is when I was a kid growing up in Wisconsin, my mother had that full quote on our wall in the kitchen. The Rudyard Kipling quote. And you got it. You know, you're you have that. What that is about now. In your well, life, see. Well, thank you for reminding me. And by the way, everybody is using their heads around here, and it's not many people to talk to you about this. Well, that's uh, well, you're just going to have to reject them all, but. <laughs> okay, I'm doing now, my best. Now there's another quote here I'm going to read, and it says, "Pursue not the outer entanglements; dwell in the inner world, thank void." You. Thank you so much. Be serene in the oneness of things and dualism vanishes by itself and that's from on trust in the heart by Saint San who died in 606 <clears throat> I met the guy thank you for telling me that one no problem so thank now you. test this question hang hang up there with your finger pinky or whatever your finger is am i in the calm clear place Good, okay. <clears throat> so there's a whole bunch of other things that it asks you that you don't need to answer because you're in the calm, clear place. Like when people, you know, newbies do this, sometimes they're not in the calm, clear place, but they can get there. And 
this here's one question that says is there something I need to do before I get to the calm clear place <clears throat> no you're there see um, so now um, what is the difference when you're in the calm clear place let's see between you now and you like you know maybe at some other time today when you were not in the calm clear place uh, less or no thinking like specifically not thinking about where or what else or with who else I gotta be uh huh um my physical body feels more light like it disappeared what, you know like where I had more energy in my physical body or I feel uh, less uh it's just more light less energy stuck or sensations in my physical body right um uh, Um, a sense of like happiness and interconnectedness. Like I'm actually doing my job more. I feel like I should be more responsible. Right. Which kind of counter counter what what the alternative is. Because like yeah, like unless like that. Like sometimes when I'm not like, picking something else. I sometimes I think that I have the idea that old the Carlton place is like for like for old fogies. It's like the, it's like the it's like the default that we give up to. But it really is a place to attain. You know where. Better things happen, or just like more work can be done here. No, but you're hitting on something really important because most people actually, almost everybody who goes to the calm, clear place says, "Hey, this is great," yeah. but really, it's not where they want to be. They want to be angry at the guy who did it to them. They want to win. They want to like beat other people. Right. They want to, you know, they want to get more. They want, they want to feel lust and passion and. And, uh, you know, they, they just want to be, you know, agitated. They want to chase things. They, 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 10 minutes after the calm, clear place, they're like, you know, okay, but now I really have to buckle down. The reality is telling me I need to such and such, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they don't, they don't make it with this. Right, right. I see and that. this is why they, they end up, you know, remember your friend Norma cured her herpes and about a couple of years later we did a show with her and she said that she had a few outbreaks and yeah. she had a few outbreaks because she was, uh, she, she just didn't like being well. Yeah, you forget, I mean she didn't have the constant support like I've had too. So I know what that's like with that kind of a recurring situation.